Hey guys, I am Nishant and I welcome you all to Cybernetico. So I just had my morning tea and yes, good morning. So let's learn how to implement a notification system in your application, whether it be anything. So basically I am using a threats app to demonstrate this. So I have logged in with two users here, Nishant Singh and Kumar in different browsers. So if you like, if I like a post of this Nishant Kumar, we should get a notification in this browser. So like it. Now check there and we are getting one, one plus, I mean one icon here. Click it and we will get this notification that says Nishant saying like your thread. And if I comment something like this, test reply to we should get this thing called Nishan Singh commented on your thread this thing so basically let's learn how to implement this so if I open the VS code first thing we have to do is create a collection for notifications which will take the database and notification then in the function called like thread we will do our notification for likes. So we have the type of notification called this type key. So if it is a like, this will be like, and if it is a comment, it will be a comment text. It is taking some extra things here from the previous video. If you want to learn how to make this application threats 2.0, just visit that video, the previous video on my channel. So yes, let me show you. This recipient user ID I am getting from this single thread page, which is basically the ID of the current thread. Yes, no, not the ID of the current thread, the ID of the current user that has posted that thread. So this is Nishant Kumar, the current user ID or this recipient user ID will be the ID of Nishant Kumar. So if I show you here in the users table, we all have an ID, which is this HM7U and so on. So if it is Nishant Kumar, the I, sorry, if it is Nishant Singh, the ID will be this. If it is Kumar, the ID will be this. Simple. So yes, we are passing that in the action buttons and again in this one, like as props, what I am saying is yes, we are passing recipient user id in here as well in the post replies and in the post likes or handle likes or likes thread whatever it is i mean the function here we are sharing the props then we have the thread data which is basically the post which is the thread like thread 2 or this is a chance thing and so on to store that in the database in the notifications collection so we have all these kind of things now we are having a doc to notify it is taking the collection for notification and the recipient user ID and the thread ID. Now we are having this payload which contains the data, some data, the username, the sender user email, sender user ID, which is from the authentication. We are getting this from here. Like if I go to the top, we are getting it from the config file. Basically it denotes the current user display name or email or UID. And then we have thread ID, thread data and all these things, you know, we have also this key called is read. It means we have not seen our notification. So if it is false, it means it will appear in the notification page. And if it is true, it will not appear there. Then we are sending this random data in this collection called notification. We also have a condition here, which means if the user ID is not equal to recipient user ID, only then we will send data to the collection of notification. So basically these are things like the user ID is the ID of the current user, which means me. Nishant Singh 
and this is recipient user id is the id of the person with the post or the thread so if it's the thread of nishan singh i can like the post because it is outside this collect this uh, condition but we will not receive any notifications that is why we are having this check here let me explain again so user id is the id of the current user sanishan singh and this recipient user id is the id of the person who made the post let's say this or this so if it is equal we will not do this because then the notification will be our own so we cannot receive our own notification because that's not how this kind of apps works or work so this is how we do it like if i like it we will send the payload in here the same thing is with comments so if i come to post replies we have recipient user id thread data and all the things the same here like we have this kind of things which is same the difference only is uh, what is the difference we have thread id we have reply timestamp and name the difference is this and thread data and i think user id because we need it okay do we have user id here yes yes we also had it here so that's all for adding notifications for a like and for comment the type is comment here remember then we are adding the data in the notifications collection simple now about reading them if you come to the bottom we have this function called get notifications which we are calling here in the hook called use notifications here it is taking the current user id and a setter function called set notifications this c recipient user id and set notifications so the recipient user id is the id of the user or the current user i think i have to change the name here. like it is not proper so we can just make this as user id so if the user id is equal to recipient id it means that we have our current notification for the user so we can show it on our notifications page that is why we are also passing the function for setting it set notifications so this will come in this will go in here set notification okay let me set it here like this yes one second i think this should be here yes so we will use set notifications to set data from this collection or from on snapshot yes so this will return us okay this will call the function called get notification if it will set it then it will return this hook i mean it will return this notifications and we are using these notifications somewhere so if i search where are we calling or getting data from this hook it is in the bottom bar first or i think let me show you the notifications to jsx page you to you first so yes we are having one second notifications okay it is from this page okay this is the component i guess so we have to go to the page for this notifications yes so we are getting the notifications it is what is happening yes well yes we are getting the notifications here as well from this book which is called use fetch notifications let me show you this one see we are just having it from here so the next thing is single thread okay not here the use the notification dot jsx yes so we are basically mapping through it and if it is not read if it is not false if it is true it means we have to show the notification if it is false we cannot show it because it is read now we have a function here called read notifications which is receiving our notification id 
which means if I show you in here, the ID of the notification, like this or this. And using that ID, we have to set the key of this. So where are we calling this? We don't need this. So mm -mm, here it was lead notification. And the function is this. So it is taking the ID and the collection name, which is called notification collection, doc to update, which document to update, the ID of that current notification. And we will simply set it to true. It means we have read it. So if I click the notification like this, it will disappear. It means it has been read. Now, if I come back here, it is basically done. I explained this to you. Now we're also calling this notifications in this bottom bar. This is for the count of notification, like it is one or two. So if I just like this again, or like this post called Nishant Kumar, okay, it is our own post, so it will not reflect. We have to like it from here, like this post called third one. Now we will have two. But the problem is we have liked it at 734. This should be on top of the notification. So I will also cover that. But before, let me show you the count logic, how to calculate the count. So if I check in the notification, let me show you. So basically we're mapping through all the notifications and getting the property is read. So if is read is false, we are just filtering it out. If it is only true, we are getting it. So if I console it down here, we should see. Let me open this. We are getting array zero because it is having no notifications. Let me check in here. Open the console. Yes, we are getting two arrays. So they are both false. It means I think we have to read it. It is not read. If it was true, it means we have read it. So it is two in number, like we have two array items, both are false. That is why we are getting true. So this is a filter function and then map function, which is filtering the fun which is filtering the notifications is read property from the array. Okay. And then from is read, let me show you what I am doing. If I come down, we are just passing the length of the is read if it is true, but if, if it is false, not true in the notification page, we are getting it as uh, parameters like it is use navigate hook and this. So let me open the page, I guess. Yes, we are getting the notifications from, I mean, yes is not empty from the state dot is read. So the problem is it closes on this own. So like it is not a problem. It is like basically problem in VS code or it is not good for me. So see, I opened notification page and then I mean, I opened the component and the page was closed. This is not a good UX. Okay, so yes, we are getting it here. And like, if I check, yes, we're getting is not empty. But if it is length is zero, it means it is empty. And in that case, we can show no notifications. Or we can make it no new notifications. It means the notifications are not present newly. That's all. Else, if we have notifications, we will map through it and so on now if i come over here we are reading the notification here you see and okay i think i bottom bar is here yes we also have a is read dot length property so if it is true it means we have notification and if we have notification we can show this basically if the number of length is more than one, sorry, more than zero, in that case, we will see 
you will see the notification dot length as a badge and we are styling them in the active notification class like we are having the background color and the color and so on and yes that is how we implement a notification component in our uh, red app or any app like a social media so let me show you we are having no new notifications in the user of Nishant Singh. Let me like a post. This is Nishant Singh. If I check again here, we will. Okay, if I have to go back and come here, I think that will be reflected here. Yes, it is coming. So that is how we do it. If I click it, we will see nothing because we will have no notifications. And if I refresh, nothing will happen because I think we may have some bugs that I have to fix, but not now. But I forgot one thing. Let me show you that. If you come to firestore.jsx, like in my repo, check it out in the GitHub. We have a thing called order by, which is a query basically. So this will simply arrange our notifications in any order. So if I check here, the like is at 739. But the comment was at 723. So they should be in descending order, like 739 should be on the top. So to fix it or to make it in descending, we have this order by. So we have to descend, I mean, we have to order the timestamp in descending order. So if I save this, this should work. But the problem we have something. And the problem is this if I open the console, we have to add the index in the fire to in here. Basically, it is currently empty. And if you open this, you will see you can make it here. So we have to do it. Just select your account. And just click create here or save here. It will take some time. So you can wait for it and i can wait for it too if you want for you only meanwhile i can explain if you didn't understand or get anything maybe it will not work because it is a recording so get notification this is we have get notification query which is taking the notification collection where order by and it is ordering the collection called notifications according to timestamp in descending order. Yes, it is still building and the battery is running out in my laptop, in my MacBook. So that I can just wait. So it's still building, still building, still building, still building. So if it is completed, we will not see this message in the console because then we will have something called indexes. Basically, this recipient user ID is ascending, timestamp as descending, name is descending in the collection ID of notifications. If it was, for example, in the users, the index name was users or it will. Tell me, what do you need to see in this, we can say collection now. So it's still building. I don't know what to do. So this is then we can get notifications. So if I like this for Nishan Singh, we should get it in this browser. See, Nishan Singh liked your tweet in the Brave browser. And if I like something from here, let's say this past or post to this will reflect in this browser. See, it is real time. So it will reflect instantly. Yes, it has been completed. We can say it is enabled. And if I give a refresh, we will not see any issues now. So it is done. We have added notification in our app. The power of having notification button here.